The emerald-eyed Russian Blue has captivated many hearts worldwide. But is this breed worth the hype? Let's find out the Russian Blue's pros and cons, starting with the pros. Number 1. The Russian Blue is a healthy and hearty breed. While these cats' life expectancy varies, Russian Blues aren't prone to develop any health issues. Such great news! Number 2. Russian Blues are pretty intelligent. They're smarter than the average and can easily learn what different words mean. They also quickly learn your routine, and some are known to retrieve toys naturally, but only when they want to. Plus, the Russian Blue is super curious and interested in everything you do. Number 3. Russian Blues aren't needy. Sure, they follow you from room to room, but they're not constantly demanding attention. All your Russian Blue wants is to sit near you and can get really hurt otherwise. This breed is moderately affectionate and prefers to show affection in a more reserved and quiet manner. You'll need to respect that if you don't want Kitty to feel overwhelmed. Number 4. They can entertain themselves just fine. Of course, every cat prefers to play with its owner if given the option. Still, Russian Blues love to play with small toys that can be tossed around and do a great job playing by themselves. That comes quite handy during those hectic days we all go through. Number 5. They might be suited for people allergic to cats. While there's no truly hypoallergenic cat breed, some do better than others. But what causes the allergy in the first place? The most dominant allergen is produced by the cat's sebaceous glands and found on the cat's fur. It can also be found in the cat's saliva in lower quantities. Some online resources state Russian Blues produce fewer allergens than other cat breeds, but you shouldn't count on that. Still, Russian Blues have a thin undercoat and shed less than other breeds. There will be fewer allergens in the air, at least in theory, but you should always consult your doctor before getting any cat if you're allergic. Number 6. Russian Blues are gorgeous! The American lines look slightly different from the European ones, but all Russian Blues charm us with soft, shimmering coats and emerald green eyes. Number 7. The Russian Blue doesn't mind being on its own and copes with loneliness better than other breeds. They're not typically prone to developing separation anxiety as long as you give them the proper attention when you return. Number 8. Their coats are super low maintenance, another major plus for busy people. Number 9. Russian Blues aren't very energetic, at least after they reach maturity, but they do take their time to grow up. Since they're not super active, they don't need as much exercise as other cats. Russian Blues can make excellent companions indeed. Let me know in the comments if you know other advantages of owning this breed. And now, let's also learn this breed's cons so you can see the whole picture. Number 1. They're not lap cats. If a super cuddly lap cat is what you're seeking, you won't find that in a Russian Blue. As I previously mentioned, this cat is affectionate if correct quietly and gently. The Russian Blue typically hates being picked up, which is another thing to consider. Still, if you respect the Russian Blue's reserved temperament, your cat will shower you with sweet meows and purrs. Number 2. They might be too independent for some people. The Russian Blue isn't for you if you would rather have a super attention-seeking cat. Still, I think they're great for most people. Number 3. They prefer a stable and quiet environment. Russian Blues hate change and are pretty suspicious of newcomers. They become anxious if they detect strangers in their territory. These cats aren't suited to live in a boisterous household, a crucial aspect to keep in mind. Number 4. Russian Blues are highly food-driven. They expect to have their food delivered on time, and they're quite demanding if you fail at that. Russian Blues are also great at telling time, and they'll make sure to remind you when they must be fed. That's why an automatic pet feeder such as this one comes in handy if you have a Russian Blue. Number 5. Russian Blues can be naughty if their needs aren't met. Besides meowing, they can also resort to unwanted behavior, such as scratching furniture, chewing cables, and opening doors. They're smart, so they'll eventually figure out how to get your attention. Keep this in mind if you want one. Number 6. Russian Blues prefer to be an only child. They don't do great with other pets as they get scared easily. They also dislike having to share their territory with another pet. However, if you get your Russian Blue as a kitten, it will be easier to introduce it to your other furry companions. Number 7. They're not great for families with small kids. It's not because they're aggressive, but they won't feel at ease near an unpredictable toddler. Russian Blues will become anxious if they don't feel safe. They could snap at the kids in rare cases, but only if they're harmed or feel threatened. They'll prefer to avoid the kid entirely in most cases, but you'll still have to be extra careful and make sure your Russian Blue has a safe place to run to. We covered a lot in this video, but if you want to be extra sure the Russian Blue is the right breed for you, don't miss this video. See you there!